honestly, you two, insatiable. Swifty Y lets us break down big, complex views into smaller views without having much, if any, performance impact. And this means we can split one larger view into multiple smaller views, and SwiftUI takes care of reassembling them for us. For example, let's say we're going to write a view out here that has a VStack inside with spacing of 10 points. And inside here we'll say there's some text. So we'll say text first. What do you want, dog? Seriously, text first. Come on, quick. Text first. And um, we'll apply some modifiers to this. We'll say this thing has a uh, font of large title. We'll do some padding. We'll do foreground color white. We'll do background color uh, of blue. Uh, we'll say clip shape of capsule. So lots of modifiers around that, making this effect right here. And then I'm going to say, actually, I want to have text second as well. And all these same things, large title, padding, white foreground, blue background, capsule clip shape, I want to add those to second as well. Copy and paste them in, bang. Now, because these two views are identical apart from their text, we can wrap them up in a new view. We could say there is a struct called capsule text, which is a view. This thing must have some kind of text string to work with. And inside there, we'll say there's a body property turning some view. And then just take all this code and put it into here. But don't send back first, send back its custom text. And now, we can go ahead and use that inside our layouts. We can say there is a VStack spacing 10 and then capsule text with the text of first and then capsule text with the text of second and get exactly the same result. Come on then. Now, of course, it's also possible to store some modifiers in the view and customize others when we use them. For example, if we removed foreground color of white from the thing here, we can apply that inside our main content view. We could have white for the first one, but then maybe we have foreground color yellow for the second one, something else. Honestly, do not worry about performance issues here. Come on. <laughs> it is extremely efficient to make SwiftUI do this work for us break them into small views and it will reassemble them into the proper original view when it comes to rendering them on the screen. It's extremely efficient and it makes our code easier to read, easier to rewrite, easier to reuse and all sorts of other advantages too.